Get ready for another host at home, Adam's Archives. Studies show that men are more likely to be referred to a shrink. Good, then our systematic plan to drive you guys insane is obviously working. Yeah, it's working every day on this show. <laughs> Don't look now, it's time for, for Sex War! <laughs> the one that she's trying to drive insane. I am driving insane. I'm Jennifer Cole. Welcome to Sex Wars, the ultimate battle of the sexes. Two teams of men and women are going to put their collective brain power to the test. The winners in this war are taking home some cash, not to mention bragging rights, and today is a very special friend show. Am hey, I right? all the girls are friends. Let's meet them now. Hi, my name is Holly Valencia, and I'm from Fullerton, California, and I'm a legal assistant. I'm from Huntington Beach, California, and I'm a sales representative. I'm Katie Wallace, also from Huntington Beach. I study business in college, and guys, get out your books, because today we're taking you to school. I'm so scared of being taken to school. Oh, go. Ooh. Just go. Let's meet the guys. <laughs> I'm Jason Johnson from Moline, Illinois. I'm a personal trainer. Charles Johnson, I'm from Norcross, Georgia, and I race motocross. Hi, my name is Carlo Angelo, I'm from Blythe, California. I'm a personal trainer, and today me and my buddies are gonna give these girls a workout of their life! We're gonna work out right in the My guys are also friends, it's now time to get this war started. Come on, guys. Friends always hugging like that. It's because ridiculous. We're showing our love. Oh, it's guys ridiculous. are always doing the slap down. What are they doing? <laughs> Their little. <laughs> ch -ch. Okay. First round is called landmine. Ch -ch -ch. Each question is going to have four answers. Only three of the answers are true. Pick the real answer without stepping on the landmine. You get five points for each correct answer. Get all three. We're going to throw in. Oh, get comfortable. Yep. A bonus five points. But if you hit the landmine, all the remaining points are going over to the opposing team. I think I want to start with the men, so they're so comfortable. Yeah, the men who don't have to hug. <laughs> Women love actresses who play strong female characters. Which of these are movies starring Susan Sarandon? Oh. Stepmom, Little Women, Women of Valor, A Dangerous Woman, Carlo. Okay, I do know that Susan Sarandon is in Stepmom. Yep. You're right. See that? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Georgia. That's me. I'm a Georgia peach as well. Good for you. It's a Thank great you. state. It is. What, you want a hug? <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Hey, no problem, Charles. All right, Anytime. Charles. What's your answer? Um, you want a kiss? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go with Little Women. I'm pretty sure Susan Sarandon was in Little Women. You're also correct, Charles. No. Never mind. <laughs> She seems like a dangerous woman, but yeah. I'm going to have to go with uh, Women of Val. Valor? Valor. Valor, excuse me. Whichever, women it's right. Val. Yeah! It doesn't matter. We got 20 points. What is that? Over to the hug fest right here. <laughs> Ladies, guys love music videos with hot chicks. Which of these are songs by the rock group Van Halen? Hot for teacher. Locker room ladies. Drop Dead Legs, or Beautiful Girls? Katie. 
the hot legs one. Because <laughs> you got three sets of hot legs up here. <laughs> That's well, you got something that one of the choices is hot in it, and another choice is legs. The legs one. The legs one. Okay, drop dead legs. Yes. You're right for five yeah. points. Yeah. Heather? Okay, I'm gonna pick a. <laughs> beautiful corals, because me and my best friends are beautiful Ooh. girls. You know, there is so much eagle up here with your fantastic <laughs> legs and your beautiful girls, but you're right for five points. Whatever. All right, this is for a bonus five right here. I'm gonna say hot for teacher. Because you're all hot for your teacher? Because, <laughs> <laughs> because that sounds right. Locker room ladies does not sound right. Hot for teacher, I know that song. I don't know locker room ladies. Well, you're right. Woo! The ladies get the extra five point bonus. Tie score, 20 points apiece. Hello, guys. Most women can't stand to live in filth. Which of these are actual names of maid services? Ooh. Oh, man, I clean them all. Mary Maids, Molly Maid, Maid Parade, Maid Brigade. What about, honey, can you go clean that for me? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Now we're yeah. Carlo. Yes. <laughs> OK. Um, well, Do I see you the, know this? Yes, I know this. I see the little lady driving around the car. It says Molly Maid on it. Yep. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. 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 Georgia. Uh, you know what? I have no idea. So I'm going to guess since you put parade and brigade, they rhyme. So they're probably trying to get one of those two together. So I'm going to go with Mary Maids. Mary Maids. Clever. Is also correct. Yeah. 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 Jason. It's a, good, it's a guess. Down to you again. Yes. Well, I don't think it'll be brigade. So I'm going to have to go with parade. Made parade. <laughs> Made parade. Yeah. Aw, we're having a parade because you just hit the landmine. Yeah. Chase, it's five points. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We'll take it. All five right, ladies. Points. We're back with you now. Most guys played at least one season of Little League. Which of these phrases are part of the official oath of Little League baseball? What? I love my country. I'll respect the coach. I trust in God, or I will play fair. Did you play Little League? I no. did not. I played YBA, Youth Basketball Association. Katie. Yes. I'm going to go with I'll respect the coach, because you got to respect your coach. You know what? I respect you, because you just hit the land. Oh. How about that? We'll see. He had to hug me. <laughs> wow. uh, this next round's called The List. We pull the men and women who visit our website at sexwars.com, and they gave us the answers on the list. We're going to auction it off, and the team at the highest bid will answer. If you give an answer that's not on the list, you're knocked out. If your entire team gets knocked out, the other team can grab your points by giving us just one correct answer on the list. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. I'm going over to the guys. Yep, the team that's in the lead. All right, we've asked the women on our website to tell us their favorite bars of soap. We took their top nine responses. How many do you think you can name? All of them. Six. 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 Seven. We can do seven. Last chance, guys. You have to name more than seven or tell the girls to name those soaps. You think you can do it? Let's do it. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do eight. 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 Let's do eight. eight. All right. Really? Let's see if they got it. <laughs> Carlo, I'm starting with you. Okay. Ladies' favorite bars of soap. Let's say uh, the ladies like to look luscious. So let's say Dove. 
Dove yes. is on the list. Yeah. Well, you know, ladies like a hand to caress them, so I'll go with uh, caress soap. Caress is also on there. I would definitely say ivory is, I'll go with ivory. White. Ivory has pure and white, and it's a nice smell. <laughs> like a lady. Yeah, exactly. So right. Ivory. Is it there? It's on there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what you got? What you got? Uh, let's see. Three seconds. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go with Irish Spring. Irish Spring. Can't believe it, but it's on there. Yeah. Is it really? <laughs> Okay, we're kind of getting into things I have no idea about. We'll go with, uh, what's it, Kame, Kame? Kame. Kame. It's a good guess. It's like... It is a good guess, and it's on there. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's five. Jason. Jason. Since we're living on the coast, I'll go with coast. Coast. Dial. Not on the way. I'm gonna go with Dial. Dial is on there. How, how about like Neutrogena? Neutrogena. My wife uses that one. Not on the list. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, Fully clean. Is on there. Yeah. One more. One more, Carlo. We get the points. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Seconds. I'm gonna go with my favorite soap, Lever 2000. Yeah. For a woman, Lever 2000. It's on there. to the three friends, the three lady friends. That's Here right. we go, ladies. We asked the men on our website to tell us their favorite Tommy Lee Jones movies. We got their top 10 answers. How many can you give us? Two, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? We do nine. Nine? You can do nine out of 10. Guys, the only thing you can do is name all of them. Think it over here. Let's see the list. Come on. Ladies, they don't think you have it. Help them so out. we'll start with you, Katie. What do you got? We're gonna have to go with the fugitive. The fugitive is on the list. Come on, ladies. Heather. Yeah. These girls have guts. They're going Come on. for it. Men in black. Men in black is on the list. <laughs> Holly. <laughs> Three seconds, Holly. Oh my girl, you yeah. have Marshalls. U.S. Marshals. What's that? U.S. Marshals. U.S. Marshals. I know he was in the movie, but it did not oh. make our list. Oh. Katie. Holly, you can't say anything. Katie, what do you got? The guys are right, man. They call it your bluff. You don't have it. I'm going to have to go with Batman. Batman Returns. Was that the one that he was in? Well, you know what? It was Batman Forever, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Yeah. Batman. Batman is Batman. It's all right. You know why? Because there's no way you're getting nine. Heather. Under Siege. Oh, Under Siege. Under Siege is also on the list. Katie. Don't say anything, Holly. I can't say Clear and present danger. Clear and present danger. Great movie. Great movie, and uh, it's not on the list. Oh. You can't say anything, Heather. Here's the deal. You got four. You got to get five more on your own, and you don't have a shot. You got three seconds. Blue skies? Blue skies. Blue skies. I never even heard of that movie. Me That's either. not on the list. Okay. All right, guys, here's the deal. 40 points to be stolen here. All you have to do is give me one movie that Tommy Lee was in. Volcano. Volcano. Was he in that movie? Yes. And, and he's on the list, too. Yeah. Double Jeopardy, JFK, JFK, Natural Born Killers, or Space Cowboys. Uh. Guys, 165. Oh. Come on. Come on. 25. Oh, 20. I didn't I want to skip that. We come back, we're gonna find out who's more likely to make an obscene hand The guys.
guys have 165. The ladies have 25. And little Holly on the end was just saying the commercial break, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> that feeling is only gonna get worse, Holly. So do I. In this round, the answers will always be either men or women. The questions are based on statistics and popular opinion polls. Ladies, when you lock in first, you're gonna hear this sound. By the way, Holly, when you hear that sound, don't puke. Okay. <laughs> guys, you're gonna hear a lot of this sound. A correct answer earns your team 10 points. Answer incorrectly, the other team automatically gets the points. Here comes the first question, men or women. More of them are single and available. Holly. Women. See that? Nothing, it's easy, you got it right. Yeah! Good job. Men or women, they tend to have a better relationship with their teenagers. Uh, Charles. Men. Uh, women. Yeah! All right, shake off Keep the first going. two now, guys. Come on, men or women? They're more likely to make an obscene hand gesture. Go for it, Katie. Men. You're right. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> men or women, in Iceland, they tend to be more aggressive. Carlo. Women. That's right. Yeah. Iceland. More aggressive everywhere. <laughs> Men or women, they're more likely to experience a panic attack. Women. Heather, women is right. <laughs> Men or women, they're more likely to teach their teens about condoms. Heather. Men. It's women. <laughs> they don't talk to them about that. Men or women. They're more likely to get bitten by a rattlesnake. Charles. Man. That's right, we're trying to protect them. Yeah. You know, be the hero. Men or women, they're more likely to build a bomb. Katie. Men. <laughs> um, of course. Men have to blow things up. All right, this is it now. This is the final question, MCI's last call. This one's worth 25 points, all right? Here we go, men or women. They tend to spend more money on holiday gifts. Go for it, Katie. Women. Actually, the average, it's men, oh. first of all. much money after this is over because we get 224. We'll give each team the three categories and they'll select one of them. We're going to ask a question from that category to the opposite team. During the break, each team had a wager at least half their points. <laughs> ladies are going to need more than that. <laughs> All right, guys, I got three categories. You're going to need to choose one for the ladies. Here we go. Wicked flow, best in show, or let it flow. <laughs> a wicked blow is what they've been dealt this entire show. <laughs> what do you think? I'll say let it flow. Let it flow. <laughs> let it flow, ladies. You want a little final group hug or you're gonna be okay? Right. You're okay, all right, let it flow. Here comes your final question. What company's slogan is Australian for beer? <laughs> you guys are throwing a couple beers back, huh? <laughs> What's your answer? Fosters. And that's right. Good job, ladies. How much did you wager? 150, it gives them 150 little, points. A little pressure there. All right, let's pick a category for the guys. Splitting up, sucking up, or shacking up? Splitting up. Splitting up, guys. Here's your final category, and here is your final question. What actor was actress Elizabeth Taylor married to twice? Oh, I know this one. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Now, they're friends. Yes. They're best friends, the three of these guys. 
between the three of them, they got it covered. Okay, I think we got it. Uh huh. Richard Burton. Yeah! 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 Way to go! That takes them to 420 points. And on a special episode, the Friends episode of Sex Wars, these guys are going home with four thousand two hundred dollars. That how it doesn't work for them. Milano N-Wheel Sport Duffel with Telescopic Handle, quality crafted and durable 600 denier polyester, designed for ease in traveling in today's busy lifestyle from Roma Luggage.